Good morning and welcome to worship at Bread of Life, Deaf Lutheran Church. My name is Michelle Lewis and I am the pastor here. We are very glad that you are joining us today for worship. Hello, my name is Dorothy Sparks and I am the deacon here at Bread of Life. Hello, my name is Wendy DeVore and I am the interpreter for today. Here at Bread of Life, we give thanks that God continues to gather us together in this way and to teach us. And we remember today in particular that God teaches us through many people in our lives. People who we love and people who love us. They help us learn about the world and about how much God loves us. Today in our tradition in the Lutheran Church, we celebrate All Saints Sunday. And in that, we remember and honor the people who went before us. We love them and give thanks to God for their very special lives. Today, we also will celebrate the Lord's Supper. And we, uh, here at Bread of Life, we continue to be amazed at all the ways that God feeds us and God cares for us, even in the midst of loss and sadness. So as we prepare for worship, I invite you to join in our call to worship. Dorothy will indicate for the congregation to join in, and then we all can participate in that. In the beginning, and now, and forever, God, you are the maker. You are the child among us. And you are the Holy Spirit breathing life into us every day. Please follow along, dancing together, working together, belonging to each other. In the beginning and now and forever, God created the earth and all its inhabitants, the plants, the animals, and the people. Please follow along, dancing together, working together, belonging to each other. We are all connected because God is kind and good. From the beginning until now, and it will be forever that we are united in God's creation. Please follow along. We dance with the trees of the field and the stars in the heavens. We stand with the mountains and we are steady like the seas. We worship you, God, in the beginning, now, and forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And also with you. 
as I said before, today is All Saints Sunday. It is a special day to remember and honor the people who have gone before us. We count all of them among the saints of God. We call them saints, not because they were perfect, but because they are beloved by God. The name saint includes all of your beloved and complicated people who have died. Today, we light candles in their honor. God promises for each one of us a place in the story of God, the forever, ever story, a story of love that flows out of God. And we all get to be part of that story. We are all part of God's story. Because God loves you, God loves me, and God loves every one of us, whether we're really great or whether we're really complicated and difficult. God loves us. So we will shortly um, light candles, as you can see in the fourth window of our Zoom worship today. We have a lot of candles and I think there is one for every name in our list that we of um, people we are remembering today. We light candles and name the saints. We remember the flame that was presented to them at their baptism. Rollins Edward Sandberg. We light candles for all these saints who were light to us here at Bold, pointing the way home. Lauren Alderman. Marvin Olson. Shirley Solberg. Mary Myers. Linda Chelberg. Roger Sorensen. Thomas Thiers. Dan Schultz. Tim Cole's father.
Michael Buell. Diane Vogan. Thomas Hart. Christy Heidenreich. Roy Sparks. Elise Sparks. Doris Schmidt. Evelyn Camp. Harlan Vine. Lowell Vine. Virginia McGuire. Linda Pettis. Kay Gilker. Vera Schwartz. Virgil Hilborn. Grandma and Grandpa Renke. Eddie Morris. Chief Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Paul Wellstone. Eldora Jones. Richard Caswell. Donald Patton. Betty Joswich. Elaine Coliani. Tammy Beecham.
Marianne. Carolyn Mielke. Elizabeth Cam. Aaron Fisher. Jared Davis. Leslie Owens. Pauline Franklin. Jacqueline Stitch. Diane Vogan. Kathleen Guyet. Richard Clark. Rondo, Ronald Will. And Ramona Danhauser. Today is All Saints Day. We recount and remember all of those we respect and who have gone before us. We count them among the saints of God 
and we pray to you. God, you are full of compassion. Through your power, God, Elijah provided bread and oil for the widow and everyone in her home. By faith in God, the widow provided food and water for Elijah. Give us hearts to love each other when we provide for others and receive help from others. We can experience your power in the life of God. Amen.
greetings to you, my family in Christ. This week, I have many prayers for us as we um, enter into a, a concerning week with the election. So my prayers include that the faith of the saints who we've just remembered, those who have gone before us, their faith will encourage us. And that the actions of showing up like we saw in today's Bible lesson, that will remind us to show up. And that the actions of actively trusting others, that that will inspire us. And finally, my prayers include that when we are overwhelmed and unsure, that we will turn to Jesus and be reoriented. Amen. That's lots of prayers to start out. And in this week with, as I said, so many worries and concerns, it is my deep hope that we will lift our heads and notice how others are reaching out and caring for the world. And it is my deep hope that we will lift up our heads and notice how we can care for others and for ourselves. That is my hope for today's message. Because this week here in the United States, we are awaiting the results of the elections that culminate on Tuesday. And we wait um, kind of living in fear uh, because of threats and our worries about the outcome of this election and the potential violence that may follow. It seems to me that we feel like we're living in another country or another time and really only can wait. And in today's Bible story, we witness a lot of patient waiting. And in the midst of that waiting, we get to see, we get to witness faith and trust, not just in God, but faith and trust in others. And the Bible story today, we see it happening. The same with our All Saints Remembrance. Because in remembering those who have gone before us, we are reminded of the faith and trust that they had. And in their lives and in our memories, we can witness their faith and trust, not only in God, but also in others. So today I want to offer a little bit of a different sermon than what I, I typically do. I really want to give us some time to lift up our heads. Time to breathe and to ponder the faith and trust 
that we can witness in others. So instead of a teaching sermon like I often do, we will have time to see a few images on our screen with just some brief comments in between. And the first image will really, it will be a full screen of our candles that we lit for our All Saints Remembrance. That image will stay for about two minutes. So you don't have to worry that it'll go away really quickly. It will stay for a bit of time so you can focus and breathe and remember all of those people we love who have gone before us. God, we thank you for giving us people to know and to love as friends, to have as loved ones in our journey here on earth. In your boundless compassion, we ask that you would console all who mourn their death. During this coming week, as we await the results of elections, it will be tempting to worry and fret, to feel afraid, and maybe to feel like we should just give up on this idea of self-governance that is so central to the United States. So when those thoughts and fears arise in you, I encourage you to look up, to lift up your head, to watch the birds as they move through the air, and to remember that even birds show us faith. Even those simple birds can show us 
how to follow God and how to care for others. Because in today's Bible story, the raven, the bird, faithfully brought food to Elijah morning and evening, every day. It wasn't complicated, but still miraculous because where does a bird find meat and bread? This is a big question uh, I have. But the bird was faithful. The bird showed up. And the same is true with the widow. That woman shared what little bit she had. She shared it. She took in Elijah and she cared for him. And similarly, Elijah cared for the widow and her son, crying out to God to bring life back to the boy. So you see in today's Bible story, we, we witness a lot of patient waiting and in the midst of that waiting, we get to see their faith and trust, not only in God, but also in one another. And this is true for us today, now, just as it was true in the Bible time. In the midst of waiting, when we practice our faith and we just show trust in one another and in God, others see our faith come to life. So when you are feeling low and worried, lift up your head. When you bring your fears and your worries to God, what does God reveal to you? What do you notice about how God is leading you?
Each one of you matters. You make a difference. And God invites you to help care for others. Your care and concern don't have to be a big flashy show. Doesn't have to be a big production. Care and concern for others can be as simple as making a winter hat for people who don't have everything they need. It can be as simple as making cookies and sharing them with your neighbors. What you do makes a difference. Your actions to care for your neighbors and to care for yourself, those actions matter. It makes a difference. So as we wait this week um, to see what will happen with the election, let us practice trusting God. I would say really limit how much time you're on social media or how much time you're watching television and news. Set a limit. Don't stay on and watch and watch and watch and wait and listen to what, see all of the what ifs and the things you could worry about. Instead, go for a walk or make a batch of cookies and share them with your neighbors. Instead of worrying and feeling afraid for an unknown future, pray to God. Ask God to reveal to you what you can do right now. We ask God to help us lift up our heads and our hearts so that we get to notice what others are doing, how they are reaching out and caring. And we ask God to help us lift up our heads and our hearts we can help take care of others and, and ourselves. Yesterday on Facebook, as it happened, I found a story from a Bread of Life member that reminded me how we can take care of one another right now. So some of you may remember Jacoby. Jacoby is a little guy who was born with a, a serious health issue called Treaker Collins syndrome. And that causes a lot of, like the head can be um, shaped really differently. They're missing bones. Um, often they don't have all of the correct um, construction on their heads. And so it makes their faces look really different. And, and they also have a lot of health challenges. Well, Jacoby needed glasses. And so his parents called up and checked in with all the people that they work with all of these people that they've gathered together who helped them take care of Jacoby. And they found this small business that does a lot of glasses work, that's their business. And the owner and the salesperson that they work with went above and beyond to make sure that Jacoby has glasses that fit his face and work 
for where his eyes are located. So Jacoby and his parents and the people who work at the eyeglass shop, they all looked up from their own worries and their own concerns. And they saw each other. The last picture that I'll show today reminds us of what the world can look like when we ask God to help us lift up our heads and our hearts. When we ask God to transform our normal, everyday experiences, we get to experience moments like the one that you'll see in this next picture. So my friends, in this week with so many worries and concerns, please lift up your heads. Ask God to help you lift up your heart so that you can notice what others are doing to reach out and care. so that you can notice how you can care for others and yourself. Amen. And now, prayer for others. Take three deep breaths. God, you breathe life into us. With every breath, we thank you. Breathing in, we are grateful that you care for us. And breathing out, we commit to join you in caring for creation. You created the world with relationships and now relationships are fractured. Please follow along. 
we come to you seeking your healing. For the places and peoples torn apart by violence. For the bodies and minds suffering. For the earth groaning under our weight. Please follow along. We come to you seeking your justice. For those whose voices have been silenced. For those whose lives have been stolen. And for those whose worth is debated. Please follow along. We welcome or we come to you seeking your peace. For those who live daily under the pressure of expectations. For those whose lives are marked by hatred and division. For those who feel they are barely hanging on. Please follow along. We come to you seeking your abundance. For those whose bodies need nourishment they cannot provide. For those who struggle each day for crumbs. For those who believe they are flawed, unlovable, and not enough. Please follow along. We come to you seeking your help for all who cannot breathe. For people pressed down by the weight of racism. For people fighting disease. and for people worrying about air quality. God, allow your breath of life to blow through our world, bringing fullness, hope, and joy. We ask these and all things in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. At this time, we invite you to share the peace with one another. And I know uh, during coronavirus time, it's a little more challenging to share the peace with one another, but I ask you to take a minute or two to send someone a text message, or write in a note, or maybe on Facebook, wave and say, hello, I'm thinking of you. Let others know that we have peace with God. And because of that peace, we are confident that God loves us. And we can see that God is generous with that love. It just pours out, out, out into the world. And God's love invites us to be generous too. And so every week we ask that you consider how you will share the gifts that God has given to you. And we ask that some of how you share your gifts will be that you send some of your money to Bread of Life. Because here at Bread of Life, we are doing what God has called us to do for almost 65 years. And that is to share this good news. That God loves deaf people and their families. And here at Bread of Life, 
We love deaf people and their families too. So at this time, we ask that you prepare your offering and send a check through the mail or use PayPal um, to make a donation and a gift to Bread of Life. Let us pray. God, you are creator. You have given us this place where we can succeed when we work side by side with you. You call us into relationship with all things. As you have provided for us, you have asked us to join in your work. As a sign of our gratitude, we bring our offering, the fruit of our labor. When we give as you give, we are participating in your blessing of the world. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is our duty and our delight that we should everywhere and always give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. You pour out the fire of your Holy Spirit and you fulfill the promises of resurrection. God, you bring us together in one body of people using every language from every place in the world. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and with all of the witness, all who witnessed the resurrection, with the earth and the sea and all their creatures who witnessed the resurrection, with the angels and archangels, with cherubim and seraphim who witnessed the resurrection, we give thanks and together we praise your name and join their unending song. Please join together in signing the Holy Holy. It will not be voiced. on Jesus last night when he gathered together to eat with his friends and followers, he was betrayed. Our Lord Jesus took bread, thanked God, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, thanked God, blessed it, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new agreement in my blood shed for, the for, for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. 
do this in remembrance of me. All are invited to this table, for this is God's table, and we are honored to share it with anyone who desires to speak. When you serve one another, please use the language of body of Christ given for you with the bread, with the wine or the juice. Please use the language of body of Christ, blood of Christ shed for you. And if you are alone, I will now serve you the communion. The body of Christ given for you. and the blood of Christ shed for you. body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace now and always. Amen. Never slumbers you who made the earth and heavens I lift my eyes up to the mountains you're my help and hope to come cheer me on my race is run be my keeper as I'm moving for I am close to some place deeper As you've held this world forever Be my keeper, be my keeper O source of life, my soul is longing Catch me now, for I am falling Oh, be my shame in sunshine burning be my comfort in the night i've been out i'm coming in be my keeper as i'm moving for i am close to some place deeper as you held this world forever
have sustained me from before my birth and always you've been with me for all my journeys help and hope O oh source of life heart of love this is my time be my keeper as I'm moving for I am close to some place deeper as you've held this world forever be my keeper be my keeper As God gathers us together, God also sends us out. So as you are sent, receive this blessing. God knows us fully. And God loves us fully. God is always near. And just as you are, God loves you. Even when we make mistakes, God loves us. Yesterday, today, forever. Please follow along. Thanks be to God. Amen.